Hi and welcome to Car Mechanical and today is the second video in my 3D printed car part series. So this is going to be for the fascia surrounds for my Pioneer head unit to go into my 1999 Audi A3. This might be suitable for some Golfs and some other uh, Volkswagen Audi group cars from around the same time. I will make the STLs available if people want them. So it's going to run the time lapse, but what basically happened about a year or so ago, I replaced my standard head unit. I basically wanted extra options for inputs uh, to be able to play MP3s, also to be able to output to a subwoofer and get rid of the stock Audi system. So that's a different series of videos. But one thing that's really been bugging me and that I'm starting to sort out, a little bits of trim that are missing. So you can see there was some upper trim missing as well. I'm going to cover that in later videos because that's where my boost gauge is going to go back into. But with this I mocked up the models in CAD and it's actually my second iteration that ended up being the one that fit because I've had to get the corners just right. Uh, but you'll see how the parts fit in, in a minute. And they took about 40 minutes per side to print. And just as the end of the model's coming up now, we're going to have to take a bit of a quicker, closer look at the parts. And the way I tend to print these is the heated bed does a really nice job of melting the plastic and giving it a smooth finish. So everything you're seeing above the print bed is going to be hidden behind the centre console. And with 3D printing you get these little steps and you get these little imperfections, especially with my printer, which is one that I've built myself. I'm still not 100% dialed in, although I'm getting closer and closer. It's nice that the imperfections are going to be hidden in the centre console. So that's the printer finished now. And for anyone who is into 3D printing, I use blue painter's tape. I'll put the print settings on the screen, but I print this at about 40 millimeters a second at 200 degrees, and it's PLA. And we can see the part there, and that's the kind of finish you get and how tight the tolerances are. And we're just going to get in there, and you can see I've printed that hollow as well. There's absolutely no need to fill it completely with plastic. It needs a bit of a flex in there as well, so the walls do have a tiny bit of flex. So I'm going to fit this down. You can see the space either side where it's going to go and also the top where I'm going to pop the boost gauge. It's going to pop the head unit out. It's pretty tight in there, but I can just grab it out by hand. And the first one goes straight down the side and I can push the head unit back in. But if truth be told, I should probably make these half a mil to one mil um, less in width. So they would have fit in uh, with a tiny bit more space. And Now, I do get everything in here but there is a bit of a shove to get it all in and just those fractional differences in like quarter of a mil would let the head unit go back in nice so I'm going to cut here to where I managed to fit it all back in but you can see the 3D printed parts are in nice and smoothly the surrounding centre console is worse for wear because of it's had screwdrivers and whatnot taken into it over time but I'm not too worried about the overall appearance of the centre console at the moment one of the future things I want to do is I'm going to wrap the centre console itself in a matte black vinyl wrap so it would tidy and neaten up the appearance of that. I'm probably going to leave the 3D printed parts the same. I'm uh, quite happy with the appearance of that. The entire amount of effort I put into this was probably a couple of hours so 15 to 20 minutes maybe half an hour when I had to remodel the part. Um, when you hit print you can just leave the printer alone so I hit record on the camera and just let it do its thing. If you have enjoyed this video you want to see more videos like it please hit the subscribe button for the channel like the video, share it, and if you want to see me print anything in particular for the car, please leave it in the comment section down below.